Hey guys, um, I'm back with another Pan That Palette update. It's kind of like, I don't know what this weird schedule I've gotten into is. Honestly, I hit pan today. I only hit pan on one shadow in the last, I don't know, month or so. But I figured it was about time to update. And just because I haven't hit pan on, on many shadows, I've only hit pan on one doesn't mean that I haven't made awesome progress. Um, I've actually figured out ways to use a lot of the the palettes that I've kind of been like iffy on. I'm a little washed out probably because I'm using natural lighting and I'm literally a ghost, but sometimes it just be like that. Okay, so as of now, I've hit pan in four of my palettes from this year. Um, Alright, I don't remember what order. <laughs> I should have prepared for this a little more. But I don't remember what order I went in before, so I'm just gonna wing it. Um, I'll start off with, I know I haven't used the Swamp Queen palette at all. So I haven't- I've used the Naked palette actually a little bit. Um, I don't think you can see too much progress, but um, I had originally thought that I was gonna hit pan on Half Baked. Which I still think might happen because um, it's my favorite shade in the palette. But also, when we get to another palette later, I've been layering shadows unlike I've done before. And I really like it because I feel like a lot of these have not been as pigmented as I remember them. Um, but if I layer like sidecar under or over like, um, like a similar shade. I think it looks super pretty and it's really easy so I've worn that a couple times um, for like clinic and when I need to like look nice and I really do love that so we're gonna keep doing that I'm gonna work on this probably a lot hopefully soon um, because right now I'm in like school mode like I was on spring break and I'll get into the palettes that I brought for spring break which I ended up not using a ton but that's okay. My hand looks really weird at this angle. Uh, but right now I'm kind of in school mode. So when it hits summer, I'm going to end up getting more into like fun looks again for me. Like last summer, all about modern renaissance. I did like really cool sunset eye, sunset eye like every day of my life. It was awesome. I put I had so much time to do eyeshadow. It was wonderful. And like right now I don't have that much time to do anything. So summer's coming I've never been so excited for summer guys I need a nap I need a, like a small coma it's gonna be wonderful anyways naked will be working on naked three also have worked on I thought I'd have pan on this by now but honestly this I think I explained this before um I'm trying to hit pan on trick I've got quite a dip going right now and also um the same thing like for the naked palette some of these shades just aren't as pigmented as I want them to be so I'll layer them um on top of like a matte shade from another palette but trick is definitely gonna be the one that I hit pan on first and I go through phases where I'm like yes trick all day every day um and then I go through phases where I never pick up this palette so trick will definitely be the one that I hit pan on. I usually end up wearing it like three or four days in a row and then I don't look at it for like a month. That's just how it is. I don't know why. I can't explain it. It's just it. Urban Decay Ammo Palette. I have not used a ton. However, I did use Polyester Bride a couple times, which is a big deal because I never use that. Also, Shattered. It's been speaking to me recently. Like, I haven't used it yet, but we're just look at it it's so pretty I'm gonna use that soon also Maui Wowie I use that in my corner a couple times I think I just need to like have a moment with this palette and we're gonna become best friends this palette's just a lot it's very it's it's a lot of things but I'm gonna get to you very soon probably in the summer when I have lots of time to experiment coming for you shattered we're gonna be good friends Sorry, I'm like this. Um, I haven't picked up my Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm gonna get there eventually. Honestly, I might pan that one completely at some point. You'll see why. Cause I use I used this and um, this one up here, which I had pan on this year, as my like all over 
um, setting shade, but I haven't, I've been using something else, which I'm actually going to end up using up this year, probably within the next couple months, which I'm shocked. Uh, we'll get into that though. But yeah, I think that one might be next because I was using, oh, I think I mentioned this in the last update. I was using a single shadow for um, setting my um, eye primer, but I realized I don't like it as much as I thought I did. However, I'm probably still going to try and use it up this year. But as of now, I am enjoying what I'm using and I have other things I want to use, but I don't think it'll be impossible to use that shade up this year. I just have to figure out the right way because it's a little too cool toned for me so it makes my eyes look like really brightened which isn't a bad thing but I just don't like how it looks most of the time so haven't even picked up pedal pusher. I'm just realize how, realizing how much energy I have right now which I need to harness and I need to do some homework. However this morning I did hit pan in the comfort zone. I hit pan on the brow bone shade. It is the smallest little pan. I'm probably gonna wear this a couple more times to expand it before I'm like, I really did hit some pan. But I like this. I like this palette so much. I'll go into the three that I took on vacation with me. On oh, vacation. Well, on spring break. I went to my grandparents' house. <laughs> it was actually a lot of fun. I've never had a road I've never done a road trip, but it was a blast. I've never driven that much in my life. I went on the turnpike for the first time. It was awesome. I love it big fan. Um, anyways, I all of a sudden am in love with the new Matrimony palette. I don't know what happened. One day I just opened it and I was like, this is like a perfect palette almost. Like, I haven't hit pan in a lot, but I've sure expanded some pan this month, guys. This is where we're at. As you can see, this one I'm using up this year, it's going way faster than I was anticipating and I'm a little upset but also happy. It'll be wild to have just that big pan showing. Also I use Matt Kumar, the red one, in my eyebrows every day and I'm also using the purpley one with the um it has a dip going on in it um on like the ends of my eyebrows because my hair has like a weird purpley tint in some lights. It's doing all kinds of stuff right now. Also, I realized that this one up here is not only a great crease, crease shade, but it's also like a perfect contour shade for me, which sounds weird, but it actually looks like a shadow. Like my roommate looked at me and she's like, that actually looks like a shadow. That looks really good. I was like, oh, awesome, thanks. Um, and I use this one a lot too, but I don't know. All of a sudden I'm like, yeah, this is a great palette. I'm sorry, my nose rings are I'll tangle it up. Okay. I've never seen anyone pan this, and I think it'd be a lot of fun to pan. Because it's a good companion palette, so it might be kind of interesting. Like, not this year, but maybe next year. We're gonna see. It's a big maybe, but that would be pretty awesome. Love you, my friend. Um, so I brought that. Oh, <clears throat> back up. I use this palette with my Naked palette. I like putting this all over my lid and up into the crease and then just tapping with my finger some of those shades from the Naked palettes just on my lid and it is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so easy. It takes literally two minutes. If you're looking for a way to use them together or use up some shadows, layer them. I also brought the double exposure palette. I like traveling with this palette. I don't know why, but like, um, I haven't hit pan in this yet this year, but I started using this shade right here. Sorry, I'm like holding this weird, but I started using this shade, which you can now see there's a dip in with like an orange and red, like outer crease. And I think it's super cool looking because it doesn't make any sense to either. Actually, my my roommate did something similar to that and I was like, ooh, I could do that. I have a shade like that. Um, yeah, so I love this. I also think I'll probably hit pan in this shade this year. This one I already have pan in. And this one down here. Yeah. And then I also brought Subculture with me. I... I love Subculture. I don't know. We're, we're good friends now. I have some good dips going. I'll probably end up hitting pan in Edge because I love edge but also like these two like bl these blue wow look how much like pigment just on my hand 
barely tapped into that. Um, I like those two blues a lot. I wear them together a lot. I also wore electric all over my lid once, um, with the two, like, blues in the crease and then a little bit of the yellow. And I thought that was really pretty. Actually, might wear that tomorrow. It was awesome. It was a look. If you're interested in, like, seeing any of my, my looks, uh, I do post some makeup. Actually, I should post that look on my panning Instagram. It's Erin Pans. It's easy. And it's a lot of fun. I post a lot more on there than I do on here because I'm dying all the time. But it takes two seconds to take a picture. Modern Renaissance. I haven't hit pan and anything else. Actually, I haven't reached for this too much this month, but there she is. I'm still like super excited about the Soft Glam palette, which I have no intention of getting like anytime soon, but probably this summer I'll end up getting it. I do want to hit pan on more of my like neutral shades, but yeah. I'm really excited that Tempra's in that palette though, because then like I already hit pan in it in here and I loved it, but I didn't want to use it up because I like using it for like blending out eyeshadows. Um, so I like use it very sparingly, but now I can use it up. You know, it's like one of those shades that I wouldn't mind having a backup of. Um, I don't think I've used the Master Palette too much. I'm still like really close to hitting pan on a lot of these. I don't know. I need to just do it. Yeah, I just need to do it. And finally, I have the Prism Palette, which I haven't hit pan in. However, I do have some good dips going in a lot of these shades. I love this palette too. I think it's so pretty. It's just like at first I wasn't drawn to it and then my best friend gave it to me and I was like, and I played with it a little bit and I was like, okay, I get it now. But yeah, she'll have pan by the end of the summer. I think a lot of these will have pan by the end of the summer, especially a lot of the like more bright colors. Um, like I think Prism will definitely have pan. Um, some culture for sure, definitely um, double exposure. A lot of those will have pan within the next couple months. So this was way too long, I'm sorry, uh, but also not sorry. Thanks so much for watching guys. Subscribe if you wanna like follow along, that'd be pretty sick. And yeah, I'm pretty sure next Pan That Palette update, whenever it may be, cause I'm doing like this weird like kind of month, a little over a month, about a month type updates. Keeps it fresh and exciting I guess, cause everyone else updates on the month. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll have more Pan. I do feel like I made some good progress this month and even though I didn't, I only hit pan in one, it was like a little bit of pan and it wasn't like a really hard pan to hit. Um, I do think that I've surprised myself, especially with that not meat matter moving palette. Like I was not anticipating just like going with it. I just went. We went there, it happened and I'm gonna see, I, guys, I'm definitely finishing this shade this, uh, this year. I wouldn't be surprised if I made a huge dents and pan in that one. And I think this red one will also have like major, major pan in. Which I already do. Because I use it for my eyebrows, which takes a lot of a lot of product every day. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm sorry I'm a mess. I hope I can edit this down. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.